This morning, opening statements will continue in the corruption trial of former Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan. Joni joins us live now with details on what we can expect. Joni. Good morning. We're right outside the federal building where Mike Madigan usually makes his entrance between now and 9 o'clock. He was the chair of the Democratic Party, 50 years in the General Assembly. He knew how to work politics, and the attorneys in this case are saying that he led a campaign of bribery. U.S. Attorney Sarah Stryker spent two hours laying out the government's case that's going to use 200 recorded conversations. One witness, former Alderman Danny Solis, wore a wire to help bring down Alderman Ed Burke, who is now in prison for corruption. Um, she says Madigan and co-defendant Michael McLean ran an enterprise that extorted money, jobs, and do-nothing contracts from ComEd in exchange for political favors. Madigan's attorney, Thomas Breen, said the 22 counts of racketeering, conspiracy, and bribery will not be proven because the witnesses are liars who schemed behind Madigan's back. The powerful 13th Ward boss only sought to provide jobs and opportunities for constituents, and the government is attempting to criminalize politics. Madigan served longer than any other state house leader in the country. He's now 82 years old. There's going to be one more opening statement today from the lawyer for Michael McLean. That's Madigan's co-defendant. Many of the jurors who were seated over eight days of time said they wanted to be on this jury, and this trial is expected to last 11 weeks. Uh, we're waiting for Mike Madigan to enter the building. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you.